let me tell you a story. So, in 2018, roughly, give or take, a young girl and her mother started watching Switched at Birth. And if you don't know what Switched at Birth is, it is a TV show that is about two characters who were switched at birth. One of them, who was supposed to go and live with her mother, uh, ends up in a rich family and is very well off and she's very into art. And the other girl who she was she took the place of, accidentally of course, ends up going with B, I think that's her name, her mom, and she ends up being deaf. So being deaf is a big part of the show. And they use sign language a lot. American sign language to be exact. And for some some part of me was sparked at the sign language. And so I did what any normal person would do. I learned a few, a little bit of sign language and then thought myself a prophet. So I don't think my fingers hurting was like the entirely like main cause of me quitting ASL. I think, I mean like I obviously was not fluent in it. I had no idea how to learn a language and I really didn't have the motivation to start trying to become fluent in sign language. Though I can't even imagine how comfortable I would be in sign language if I had kept it up all of these years. It would be unbelievable. But I didn't do that. So, here we are with this video. I had, I hadn't forgotten that sign language existed. Don't get me wrong, of course I hadn't. But, it wasn't until I got a job at a library where our gender sanitation personnel uh, is deaf. He is deaf and I was like, oh my god, I don't know sign language anymore and I only know my ABCs <laughs> and I felt really bad that I couldn't communicate with him. At first I didn't really feel bad that I couldn't communicate with him because I never saw him. I never worked 9 to 1. Like when I first got started I like rarely worked 9 to 1 and he usually works like super early hours and he's gone by like 10 o'clock. So if I don't work 9 to 1, I don't see him. But as I got more months in, I started opening and working more morning shifts, which means I saw him more. And every morning we just did that awkward little wave of like that, like, and then it was it. And that's when the guilt and the clench of my heart started to appear because I was like, oh my goodness, I can't communicate with Merle. And I, like, I want to communicate with him. And so I was like, you know what? You've done it before. You did not, you were not serious. You did not know very much at all, though you thought you knew a lot. So you can do it again. And now there are more resources available. There might have been a lot available before, but... The sixth grade me did not think to look on YouTube. All she did on YouTube was watch Sims videos, and you know, she still does watch a lot of Sims videos, but not as much as she did then, okay? Not as much. So now there are more resources, and I have a bigger reason to be motivated to learn sign language, and that is to communicate with Merle. Practically once a week, every Tuesday morning, I open the library. I'm there nine to one. It is only a part-time job, and that means every morning, I open on Tuesdays once a week I have a very high opportunity of talking to Merle and so I decided yesterday I decided yesterday to pull the, 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 the plunge pull the whatever whatever the saying is and finally just start cracking and that is because I wanted to know if he was coming to our Christmas party that's happening Friday he is not but I did get to communicate with him a little bit and my sign language was not good. Uh, it was bad. Um, and <laughs> it was kind of awkward, but it was really great and he was really, really kind about it. And I know it's that weird stage, at least in my mind, it, that's where we are right now, is that weird stage where people are like, very honored that you're learning their language and then you get to the middle point and they're like you can't speak at all you suck and then you get to the end where you're comfortable and fluent <laughs> eventually so there's that i want to see if i can find a video on sign language grammar because 
I learned how to sign like, are you coming to the party? And there's no R in there. At least that's what my app told me that I learned to look it up. So I want to like see. I also need to look, let me write that down. <laughs> this is my little checklist. Um, so let's get to it. Thanks for hopping into this vlog. I'm sorry for the long intro, but let's go, baby. English and ASL sentence structure. video and I mean it's 10 30 and I need to go to bed it's actually 10 40 because I work tomorrow but I finished that and I took down some notes this is a notebook that somebody donated to the library and they were just gonna throw it away because we don't sell notebooks so I took it and it's a sketchbook but I thought this would be a good one to have just because I need I mean I was gonna use it anyway so why not for ASL so yeah it's kind of a mess and I wish it was nicer and more organized, but this is what I've learned. So not a whole bunch of information, but important information. Like wondering if the closing signal is something that I didn't even know. So see, I'm already learning and that's great. But now I'm going to go to bed and we will continue learning sign language in more. Or maybe we won't because I go to my dad's. So I guess we'll find out. Oh, without further ado, let's get learning how to sign. Accelerate. I was afraid we didn't have enough towels to do a load. Hi everyone. So, as you guys can see, I tried to channel my inner Sophie Von Ann and do a laundry clip in my video. So, <laughs> I hope you liked it. To also channel more of my Sophie Von Ann, I am currently reading a nonfiction book. <laughs> can you believe it? Yeah, Sophie makes me want to be a more productive and better person. So... Talks with Mika, Sophie. Anyway, so today I work four to eight, so I've had a lot of free time. I did a laundry because we were like two weeks behind on laundry just because my mom has been super busy at work. So I was like, I'll do it. I felt productive today, so I just did it. And it is now 2.23, what the heck? Anyway, it's 2.23. Uh, so I actually have to... I only have about 30 minutes before I get ready for work. It snowed last night, so I'm going to have to leave a little bit earlier than usual so I can get to work on time and still drive at a safe, reasonable speed. But, uh, yeah, that is my update for this video. And I'm going to be watching some more videos on ASL grammar. Maybe I should focus on learning some more vocab, and I can do that this weekend. But I really, really want to try and figure out the grammar because it sounds simple, kind of, um, aside from the fact that I don't, topics, <laughs> choosing the topic of a sentence makes me want to cry. Um, but I just, I can't really wrap my head around using like a closing signal. Like I get why we would use it and I get them. I just can't wrap my mind around using it and putting it in place. So that's what I'm going to do is watch more videos on grammar and then get ready for work. So I'll see you guys later. See you. We say see say see not I don't know. Hi. So it is the twenty second. I'm sorry I am a lot more soft spoken. That's not usually how I am in my videos. But I just spent like an hour editing what you just watched. I cut out a lot. <laughs> I just started talking and I was like, delete, 
delete, delete. <laughs> but yeah, today's the 22nd and me and Megan actually hung out. So there will be a video on my channel sometime, maybe before this. Um, that has her in it, so I'll leave that link down below if it's out before. And it was a lot of fun. But last night, I threw up. <laughs> and then this morning, I was not feeling very good. And then I felt fine for a few hours when Megan came over. But when it was like 2.30, I started waiting. And I was like not feeling very good. I slept for two hours after she left. So I'm not feeling the best. But um, that's going to be the end of this video. I did not film as much as I was imagining I would because I'm a horrible vlogger. So I guess that's one of my goals in 2023 is to just become better at being a YouTuber. <laughs> you would think after um, half a decade, maybe a little bit more than that on the internet, I would be better at this, but I am not. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for resources to learn ASL, ways to remember grammar, anything like that. I don't care. It doesn't even have to be ASL related. It can be whatever you want to tell me. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys all in my next one. Hey, Dua. Adios. Goodbye.